Olweni sani bonani tumela tobela Abshing a ninjani se apila tina ekaya kwa povula. Um, I'm coming to you guys. Yeah, because I feel like I have to. After we have hit, um, we are just over three thousand subscribers now. Um, and it's all thanks to you. So I felt, yeah, I mean, I'm that person that celebrates, you know, even the smallest of wins. Um, so I do feel like um, I just can't keep quiet, you know, um, and and pretend as if nothing happened. Um, so we've um, reached the 3,000 um, subscriber mark. Um, here's to looking forward to 5,000 subscribers. Um, I know it's, you know, um, one day at a time. I'm honestly taking it a day at a time. Um, knowing very well that, you know, those that have big numbers, um, they also started from somewhere. And um, I don't think I'm even six months yet, but to reach 3,000 subscribers within a period of six months, I think that's a great achievement. And beca especially because when I started um, YouTube, um, I was told it can take more than a year to reach a thousand subscribers. So, um, I'm deeply, um, humbled that, um, I have your support. Hence, I have, you know, exceeded my own expectations. So thank you very much. Um, so yeah, that's the reason for the blog, for the, what you call for the video today. Um, just to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I just felt like, because I don't have much to say, I, I will be honest, I didn't prepare a topic. I do have something in mind, but it's just a general topic that I think um, will help one or two people, but nothing hectic. I did think, okay, I've just made my breakfast. Let me have a mukbang. <laughs> Forgive me if um, my pronunciation is wrong. That's a mukbang. Yeah, you understand. We are born and out with pretty fucking knife. Nice. Yeah, boy. Yeah, we have a very long lapel to spawn. Hey, when do I never run? Nice, 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 guys. Nice, 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 nice. Nice. Yo, nice. Um, this is an omelet that I made myself. Um, cause I always see people, you know, having, I, 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 at some point I thought this mukbang was some kind of dish, you know, I was like, it sounds like, you know, some kind of fish or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the fish tongue must bank. That's what I thought it was, something like that. So I was like, wow. But then I would see people call, calling this, um, you know, doing a video, calling it a mukbang and I'd be like, why is it different meals for every, you know, person? So, and, you know, there's this Dash Kitchen, apparently, that is sponsoring. I'm a, I'm a Mac Bank. And me being in Gilton Village, at least I'll probably never <laughs> get a sponsor for a Mac Bank. So let me make my own. So I'll take you through um, how I made my omelette. Um, very simple. Um, basically, cooking is one of my greatest skills, by the way. Mm, 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 mm. And I was asking my daughter just now, it's very, very, what is this McVeigh thing? And then she said to me, she was explaining about five minutes ago, saying, no. You know, it started with the Chinese. The Chinese people um, enjoy, well, some of them enjoy the sound of food, the sound of chewing. You understand when a person is talking. Um, so then it became a thing to record whilst eating. Mm, that's all it is, guys. I thought it was deeper than that, but it's honestly <laughs> just that simple. So apparently when you chew, you must sound like you're enjoying the food. 
You understand? And you guys over there must actually hear the sound of me chewing. So let's try and do a real mukbang. Mmm. 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 I'm not even acting. It's for real. The omelette. How did I prepare it? Mm. Mm. I wish I had a vlogging camera. I'm gonna have one day and I'll show you guys. It's a slice of bread. You cut out the inner part. Yeah. And leave the frame, the outer frame. And then um, you have a mixture of your whatever you like, you know, to put in your omelette. I had um, green and red peppers. Mm, I didn't have bacon. So I took a Russian and cut it into very small pieces. Um, put it in the mixture together with the mixture, a few spring onions, um, salt and pepper, and um, mixed with three eggs. Mm. And then you hit a pan, low heat, ne? Butter, let it melt on the pan, and then you put your frame. You know, remember you cut um red. You know, you took out the inner part. Then you put the frame on the oil on the pan, and then you pour. In in the frame, you pour the mixture, the omelet omelet mixture, and when you can tell which the bottom has has cooked, na, you then put a slice of cheese on the top part of the omelet, and then you put back the piece that you cut out. No? And yeah, but you flatten it, flatten it, flatten it, and then also pour the last like there's a bit that you leave um and um, the, the omelette mixture. So you pour that on top of the, the, the piece of bread and you you flip it over so that it cooks as well. And basically that's it. You done have the omelette, it's so nice, guys. Mm. Mm. It's nice and filling because it's got bread. Yeah, you know? Because, yo, an omelette alone. Yo, now, guys, I eat nearborn and animals. I'm big because I love my food. So, <laughs> I know how to make nice things for myself. Mm -hmm. yeah, messing myself. So, yeah. That's my plan. I mean, that's the omelette I made for myself. Even my daughter says, mm -mm. this one. Mm -mm. It is really nice, guys. And then, I have me some arrows with ice cubes. Mm. By now you should know that arrows is my favorite juice. I probably have fruit tree in the fridge and whatever um, else, you know. But sometimes all I want is just arrows. Mm. Must be very cold. So yeah, now let me bring in 
the topic I, I was saying, I would, you know, just a few things I'd like to share with you. Yes, guys, I was having a discussion with a fellow Mungoma. Yeah? I don't remember what we were talking about or how the conversation started. It was probably a dream that one of us had, no? and you know, even as Ellen Yabon Elungu Egutalali Likona, sometimes you do need to consult your colleagues for guidance and direction. So, this Mwama is one of the people I usually talk to. Oh, nice, you talk to me about doing things vice versa. Mm, my lipstick is getting messed up. Mm. So we agreed with how. Sometimes we misunderstand um, Isos. And I will use Isos. It cannot. I will use Isos. Because as I am. Because it's not becoming a universal, you understand, term that people immediately understand what you're referring to. You understand? Because if I were to say it's Israel, only closer people would understand what I'm talking about. So, we're saying uh, sometimes, Tina, we, we misunderstand Israel. You understand? Hence, we don't get as much benefit you know, from Amadou's weight. There is so much we could benefit if we knew and understood um, Isos, the way El Sabenzangakona, the way El Bonangakona is it. How we see things is not the way they see things. And with them, Everything is black, black or white, nothing in between. There are no gray areas when it comes to um, issues. Because we're saying, for example, you'll drive yourself to depression. Um, like I did at some point in my life. Drive yourself to depression. Upasa. Njalo, njalo. Hence, I say sometimes Ngupasa is overrated. Because no matter how much you pass, if Isos is set on, you know, um, a, a specific um, 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 routine, if they are set on their ways in terms of what they want from you, no matter how much you can pass, they are not going to um, listen to you. You understand? They are not going to bow down to you. I also have watermelon. Yes. So it's a full breakfast. <laughs> I said to you guys, and Jevanga, because the really in the So if ever you were to invite me to anywhere, your house, um, whatever. Just know this person here loves her food. I love watermelons. This one is nice and juicy mm. and sweet. Mm. 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 So 
un thing. You will drive yourself to depression, praying, upatla, for what you want and what you think you deserve. You understand? And what you think will actually um, resolve matters in your life. It was libelic bugel. We're not giving you that. We're not having it your way because we know better than you. Ne? For instance, with my friend, her name is Laura, by the way. Um, she's one of us here. Um, so she'll probably, she'll, she'll probably be, you know, <laughs> aware of I mentioned her. Yeah, she'll watch the video at some point, I know. Um, she's in Cape Town, but um, emanating from um, KZN. So I'm gonna um, say I'm gonna 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 say Hence, today, Mark Taula, let's say, Taulungan, because it's a bit wrong. I'm trying to tell you, the money you pay to the lapayan, let's say, you try to swap five thousand rand. Go to a zinc or more zinc rand. Go to a more more cool money rose. Au kulu mge maa. Kaya nashen. Wealth. E lozi. Is. Not money. It is rather. Tangible. Assets. Like livestock. Infu yo. E wana ke maa. Mau kulu mge nkomo. Ni mbuzu. Nabana wata alu ya kulu mge. Maukul mga ma milyon kul mis chai nagbon. Hmm? Hence, it was the support um, people who use their money to acquire um, assets, you understand, for their homes. You understand? If you keep your money, for example, um, we know you understand? If you 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 keep your money ibe flu ibe kwa ibe liquid, it's easy to spend it. And <laughs> there's this show I usually watch. <laughs> I enjoy it so much, and I sometimes worry what it feels like. Maybe I enjoy people, you know, going down. That show it I blew it. You know, people who've lost millions, uh, like. One a million, um, uh, million seven. I was watching a guy this morning, he wants one seven million rands. We lot, and uh, the following month, he won 1.1 million quick pick lotto, and he blew it within a space of 18 months. Like, <laughs> nothing was left. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I wanna know it was. Gupo polo. Uwene. Ama miliona manga. Gupindu wene linye. And still. Yamo. Because ima luku kyo kufutwe. Had this guy invested. In buying land. You understand? Buying livestock. You get me? Buying tractors. Trucks. You understand? For You understand? Um, he would still be earning an income of some sort, you understand? Hence, I think I'm going to buy Dala. I'm going to buy Dala. Hmm? Amundu. 
that invests their money into property. For example, we know, I saw some of my friends that I started working with, young as we were, instead of <laughs> instead of um, running, rushing to, you know, living the estate life in the northern parts of Joburg, where you pay double the value of property in the south. I have a friend, she's a geologist, I won't mention her name. She bought a townhouse in, I think it was Mondio, her first townhouse. Um, when she moved to Whitbank, bought another townhouse in, Whit in Whitbank. And then she came back to Joburg. She didn't, because she was renting out, she already had two properties, two townhouses in Joburg renting them out, and then when she moved back to Joburg, um, um, she went to work at the IDC. She didn't, um, you know, um, what you call, those people that were renting her properties continued to rent. Yeah, now she bought another property, you understand? Um, so now she has a portfolio of properties, you get me? And... This is after how many years now? <laughs> you get me. Uh, after 18 years of, of working, probably all those properties have paid themselves off. You get me. And right now she is living the life. I think she's that person that won't touch her salary for, you know, the next two or three months or even more. You understand? Because, you know, money comes this side, that side. You understand? Different streams of income because she has this portfolio of properties. And I think when you do that, you know, when you make such um, 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 brilliant investments, they see what you are trying to do. You understand? And they, they, they bring forward, they bring forth opportunities for you to continue to expand. You understand? Because they love what you're doing. It was, especially with us African people, I have learned Nguti, they don't like Umundom shop. Simply because of the many years of um what you call of of apartheid. You understand? Our forefathers were actually we don't know what apartheid is. We don't know. You understand segregation and all of that they experienced it and it was who the white man you understand and Izozi, as a result i think hence they still even in spirit they resent umundom shop you understand there is resentment so when you are busy like tama kandle lakho nezibane zakho shem uzuzibu 7 days work they don't like it sometimes. Sometimes they will, you know, allow you to because they see what you have no other op option. You need the income and they trust what when you have the income, you are going to do A, B, C, D to keep this home. You understand? To keep the light burning at home. You understand? So sometimes they will, you know, uh, make it possible for you to get the job. But if you continue, you understand, to earn and not invest back into your family, you understand, this is, it's, it's all about family, it's all about, you know, family values. You need to invest back at home. You need to, um, because lo muza kufane lupele, aliki lo zilfunu muzu wa lupele ngoba, magna pela lo muzi. Where are we going to appease them? You understand? If we could allow this home to just be disappeared, you know, 
epuphe utato usithi uyagodola <laughs> izawuxhelelwa plongo nalithengisa lokho ikhaya nini ngenxa yantoni nifuna le nicanga bayi nicinga bayi yona ndi balekle and you sell your home um so they 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 can't allow that hence at the beginning of our lives you know straight out of school um um it it, it is usually not really um it's not that difficult to secure a job um um but it's not well paying at the beginning and i think the reason being simple would at that time you are being humbled and challenged and being tested with what are you going to do with this money you understand if they can see what you can handle money um because you reinvest at a back at home um they probably um bless you even you know more abundantly you understand so abundance honestly depends on our decisions you understand how we manifest blessings honestly depends on us thinking about our families us knowing what spirit depends on us in as much as we depend on on on, on them they can't come back physically to resolve some of the matters they left behind you understand they depend on us to appease you understand so that they are free in the in in the spirit world you understand um um and if we don't if we, if we can't help them then what's the point of this relationship you're not helping me but you're always kneeling down for me to help you you understand it's a give and take in a eta you understand and they want to see things they want to they want to see they must be led i can't in- emphasize this enough land livestock hence i think it will be many centuries before we don't dream of cows in our dreams why are we always being you know um 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 chased by cattle you know <laughs> i can tell you what not less than 50% of people watching my channel have had a dream <laughs> of a cow chasing them and i can say not less than 50% of <laughs> people watching this channel have had a goat in their dreams yes and there's a reason for that so if we are not buying these cattle and goats because you can already tell what they they have a significance you understand if the last person that bought a cat a cow uh at your home and you'll be like i can't call him come because i'll tell you i'm damn cool work when you think back on i take you so back on a couple ten you might come with ten away now you know years later when there are rituals that have to be now performed and there are no clouds go in with mark twain game hmm who is usually mark bangs Unga, hey, let's guys, let's go back home. Slung is into. You know, look at it this way. It was Alishinch. Our ancestors just won't move. The goalposts have not moved with them. They are where they have always been. You know, I understand they got more than times no. Magwenzu umkomboti. you understand you need e e e try don umqaba you understand you can say ke mna umntu akomnye umzazi ocela umqaba ekhaya for uyokwenza uyomisifaki yakho kwabo emqubeni wakho abantu and um, there can only be umqaba because there is livestock in that home kani sizi ndingumntana omqaba utho uthetha isixhosa xa usegoli uthi hayi ndingumlana omgquba mna ungumlana omgquba kodwa unayi nenkoma unayi nebhokwe kokweni kodwa ungumlana omgquba ucika la omgquba ukuzibe khona khaya uthe ngibhokwe hamba bothe ngenkomo ufundi yongeza kwezeza kokweni maka plans naka plan these people are not they are not going to leave us alone oh they are not going to leave us alone oh better get it in your head oh 
Yeva, si seza uteli nkomu. Ah, si seza gile nkome pupe. Ukui bwane. Igule, kugle, kugle, chwa, unge negwa ronda. Yabona la makangu. Um, you know, that they have the top and the bottom. Ulva, Likang, for some strange reason, this cow will always be able to open the bottom door. And if it's the cob, you will have a Phil Collins, basically. You can, I'm telling you, you can run, but you can't hide. <laughs> You can run, but you can hide. <laughs> oh, guys, I'm enjoying this topic. I didn't think I would enjoy it so much. But yeah, I, I, yo, I thought it would, it would be less than 30 minutes. Let me, let me end it there. It was just a by the way type of a topic. Um, Yeah, I didn't want to get it. Ah. Into it deep, but yeah, um, yeah, that's it for now, um, guys. I'm gonna try and post as much as I can this weekend. It's gonna be an interesting weekend for me. Um, I'm off to Bisha this afternoon. Um, Joseben's a corner, and um, the family and Joseben's a la um, was it told me up on YouTube, so I hope they understand with in your record. Disha, and I try as much as I can not to involve people my my videos. Um, I don't like um, um, recording or video rising in work or news. We understand, um, so I'm always picky how I record in what I show. We understand, even my initiates, I don't like, um, you know. Um, I'm showing them off. You understand, but um, sometimes I feel like you know. Uh, so many of you have asked me, "Uguti, I bo mama when you don't, you never post your videos." Kesi bonen tumbe. You understand. So I will try if possibly for moya we have We understand. And guys, uh, on that note, let's um leave it there. Continue subscribing so that we reach the 5,000 mark before, I'll say, what month is it now? Before June. Hmm? Before June, let's hit the 5,000 mark. And guys, the South African Post Office is your... Hmm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. AdSense sent the, what you call the PIN, my YouTube PIN verification in November, last year, November already. I still have not received it. And when I checked the post office um, in Alice, they said they've been on strike since last year. So they're not sorting their mail. So I think um, ads are going to stop. Um, um, they're going to stop flighting ad ads on my videos. Um, that's lesson come for me, from for me. But I will continue posting. Um, maybe I will get this pin one of these days. So pray with me, guys. Um, to receive that pin. Otherwise, continue subscribing. Please share. Please share the videos. Because if you share, you know that's how we, you know, um, um, expand. And have a great weekend. Thank you. Bye.